Hey bat flower plant enthusiasts, I'm making this video more as a sharing rather than a how-to guide kind of thing. I just wanted to share with you repotting one of my bat plants out of some old heavy clay soil and into some new lighter soil comprised of core aka coconut husk fiber, regular potting soil and some pebbles. It's doing pretty well but I do think it can be place in another pot. The soil is really heavy. I want to get it out of here and place it in a smaller pot with a lot looser soil. Well, here's the situation. As I recall, there were some problems with the parent plant and I had to cut it way back. And this is mainly the new growth. So a lot of the roots are probably from that old plant and that's why they can be trimmed away. If you are transplanting a new young plant, I suggest you keep all the roots and try not to disturb them. So to a large extent it really depends on your situation. Well we're going to call this one an experiment because I um, took off most of the old dirt and a lot of the old roots but not all of them. I was a little nervous about taking all of them off. Let me show you what I got left. Okay, this is what I've got. This is what I'm keeping. And I'm going to be putting in this smaller pot and putting uh, new dirt around it. I don't know if I should cut these or not. I'm, I'm nervous to do that, so I'm not going to. I think that looks a lot better. Now I'm going to uh, put the new dirt around it. Okay, here it is back in its original location and it gets morning sunlight and then indirect light for the rest of the day. And we will see how this plant reacts because for me this was definitely an experiment. It's the next day and our plant is doing great. None of these leaves are drooping. They all feel firm even though they're, you know, leaning over. But they feel very, very firm. So our transpotting went very, very well. And I do want to mention that I previously said that um, this plant is getting morning light. And it is, but it's only getting like maybe an hour's worth of morning light. They do not like a lot of direct light. They grow on the forest floor under the canopy of trees. So they like indirect light dappled light, filtered light, and as far as watering goes, um, definitely, you know, keep the soil moist, but don't overwater it, because I have gotten root rot from overwatering these plants, and they will let you know if they need water, because the leaves will quickly droop, and when they really, really droop and, uh, you know, and lose their firmness, then it's time to water them. It's been another five days and the plant's doing really, really well. So this plant had absolutely no problem being repotted. There seems to be a lot of new growth, and down here it looks like we're getting a new flower. So all in all, a really successful repot, and I would not hesitate to suggest doing this to one of your plants. For more bat flower plant videos, including how to grow the seeds, click on the playlist link in the description below. Please support my channel by leaving a comment, ticking that like button, and of course, subscribing. Happy gardening, everyone.